Yeah, I have a, I have a friend who removed like Safari from his uh, from his iPhone. He he put like all these things that block Facebook and Twitter on his computer, like all these things that he knew would distract him at times that he didn't want to be distracted. Like he put all these little mechanisms into place because he was very serious about forming this new habit of focus and not being, you know, distracted by things all the time, whether even in social settings or for business and stuff. So yeah, removing those temptations can be an important way for implementing inevitability thinking as well. So that's step number three. All right. Step number four is to be consistent. I mean, to form a habit, you need to do it consistently. So, you know, that's uh, for a lot of things, that's going to be daily doing it daily or at least, you know, Monday through Friday, depending on the kind of thing it, it, it might be, if it's, you know, for your business and, you know, maybe you say on the weekends, I'm, I'm not going to do that. But consistency is what makes it a ritual. That's what, I mean, you don't get the muscle memory, you know, dancers and Olympic athletes and, you know, people who uh, train and train and train. It's about, and golfers and, you know, in sports all the time, muscle memory is a big thing. And it's that repetition, that consistent repetition that trains their body to, you know, make the three, uh, the three point shot, uh, at a high rate of, uh, consistency or that they, you know, get really good at uh, doing their spins when they're ice skating or whatever the case may be. I mean, consistency is the same for mental and emotional memory, muscle memory, so to speak, because, you know, that's a, a scientifically proven thing as well that those, that forms within us. And so, uh, go for, cons- that's why we said go for consistency at first. Performance is not as important at first as it is consistency. Um, so, you know, just the act of working on your business every day, and then you can make sure that you're more and more productive over time by forming other new habits. But at first, maybe it's just the act of being in your office doing something to be consistent. Uh, daily is definitely best. And, and then keep, keep in mind that, I mean, this consistency is going to be the hard part because just like a, uh, you know, when the, when you watch the, if you ever watched on TV, the shuttle, when it uh, takes off, it's got the big rockets on the side and, you know, the countdown happens and then big, huge release of uh, flames and fumes and, and it starts going, taking off. And like something like 80% of that fuel is burned in just the first, you know, several minutes of that takeoff because escaping gravity is such that it's the hardest at first. And then once it reaches a certain point, it can release those rockets and it actually doesn't need that much fuel to finally get into orbit at that point. I think it's very similar in forming habits as well. There's that escape velocity is what they call it, that you have to reach the point where you've reached a certain velocity that you'll, you'll get out of orbit no matter what. And, you know, it's all those little thoughts that start happening about like, oh, wow, this is really hard. Oh, this is painful. Oh, maybe just today, this once, you know, some, you might call it rationalization. There's lots of different words for it, but it's important. I mean, I know there's been days when I woke up just like, oh man, I'm so tired, but I, I knew that habit was so important that I went and, and I get, like you were saying earlier, Sterling went and worked out anyway, even if it was, maybe if it was a little bit of a shorter time or not as an exertive of, of a thing, but. Uh, it always feels so good to just do it anyway because you feel like you've been deliberate. You feel like you've, uh, you know, d- worked on uh, on that habit. It gives you a big boost of energy afterwards. So I think the, it's important to be aware, to expect, to know that those thoughts and those that resistance is going to happen because naturally, as humans, we have resistance to change. It doesn't mean you're not disciplined. It doesn't mean you don't have enough willpower. It doesn't mean you're not good enough. It just means you need to stick to it a little bit longer, and then eventually it will become a habit. You will reach that uh, that escape velocity. Don't judge yourself. Just just recognize it. See see those things for what it is, but stick to the plan. And one one thing you can do is try to redirect those thoughts with the uh you know with the word but. If you start hearing yourself like you know yeah I I'm I'm really not that good at doing this thing. You know if those kinds of thoughts are this is really too hard. You know, redirect the thought, add the word but on the end. Like you say, man, this is, this is really just too hard. I'm too tired. But if I do it anyway, I know I feel really good at the end. But if I do it today, you know, I, I know that uh, tomorrow it's going to be that much easier. Or man, I'm just really no good at, at sitting down and, and working on my traffic every day. But if I, if I do it, you know, consistently enough and I spend some time today and tomorrow reading, uh, uh, you know, I'll, I'll be able to get better at it. So try to redirect those thoughts a bit as well. So step number four is to be consistent. Step number five, the final step is to start the next habit. I mean, once you've, uh, you've designed the ritual, you know, you, well, I guess first you've had that awareness and that willpower. Step one, step two, you've designed the ritual. Step three, you've put inevitability in your favor to make sure it happens. And then step four, you've kept at it for that three to four weeks. 
And that's going to depend on, on you, what, how long it takes to form a habit. But I think you'll have a good sense of when it becomes a habit. Like you were saying, Sterling, that day when you just started to go and do it, even though you'd actually made a deliberate choice, I need to go to the doctor today. You know, you, I think you yeah. knew it's like, wow, yeah, this has become a habit. And once you hit that point, well, then it's step number five is start the next habit. If success has reached one good habit at a time, well, then keep plugging away at them. Do the, do the one now and maybe have a whole list of them and you can even prioritize them and know it's like, hey, once I've made that habit of getting up, going downstairs, doing my cardio every morning, the next habit's going to be adding strength training to that. Or maybe if you have you know habits with your business, it's going to be, well, working on my business for two hours every day is the first habit. And then maybe the second habit is um, you know, maybe it's something to do with the way you uh, spend your money on, on like saving an extra bit of money that you put back into, uh, you know, traffic or, you know, just m- decide what the next habit is depending on where you're at in your business or your life or whatever it is that you're trying to um, achieve. But imagine how many habits you can change in a year if every three to four weeks you are uh, you know, you're, you're working on a new habit and you'll be able to look back and go, holy cow. I mean, if I think about, I was just talking to my wife, Melanie, about this recently, about the amount of work I feel like I get done. And, uh, I think right now we're at what, about 30 hours a week that we're working. We were at 20 at the beginning of the year, then we went up to 40 for a little while. And now we're back down to 30. But if I think about the amount of work I get done in those 30 hours versus like this, when I first started my business and, you know, just cause I fell into actually a bad habit of working all the freaking time. So there was no renewal ever. It was like 12 to 16 hours a day. And I could have been far yeah. more effective. It's crazy to think about now in 30 hours a week, I get way more done than I did back then, even with 60 hours a week. And that's because Absolutely. of habits. You know, I formed habits about planning at the beginning of the week. I formed habits about the way I budget my time, the way I track it throughout the day, the way I uh, analyze the metrics at the end of the week of how I get things done, the way I filter and choose what key actions I'm going to to focus on, the way I delegate tasks, the way uh, we've organized our... I mean, all those things that have now led to 30 hours of work being far more productive than 60 hours of work has been because of just key habits that we've formed over the last two or three years. And that's just one habit at a time, every few weeks, working on something new or taking some habit to the next level. Yeah, basically now I've got it set so that uh, at the first of the month, I move on to the next habit. And at some point, and, and if I get it done anytime soon, I'll, I'll maybe put it in the show notes. I'm going to put together a habit worksheet or something like that. I haven't decided what to call it yet where I go, okay, what's the ritual? Let's plan the ritual. I'm going to write it all down and do all that so that every month I just go, okay, so I've got my list of here's the habits I want to do. I'll prioritize them and then just start going down the line, add it to the new you know habit worksheet or whatever we want to call it and uh, you know just work on that and oh it's the first of the month again okay time to go to the next one absolutely and and this, let's give some examples of those I mean this is internet business mastery and and this applies to anything in life but we definitely want listeners to apply it to internet business here's some examples of some habits that you might form uh, one would be using a, t- a timer daily to track your time and stay focused like so sitting down and saying okay for the next hour and a half I'm working on this I'm going to set 90 minutes and then you know bam hit it or maybe it's 50 minute blocks that's something I've done with my timer in fact we both use timers and we'll hit it and I even have a timer to remind me every 20 minutes just to st- stand up and 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 stretch a little bit and move around for a minute because I know my back will feel better at the end of the day so there's another you know habit or or just tracking your time and what you spend your time on on a daily basis. Uh, a habit could be writing new content for your blog every day. It could be to spend two hours a day working on your internet business. Uh, if you're just starting out and you're working you know, a full-time or part-time job, it could be, hey, I'm going to do the habit of every day I'm going to sp- do at least one thing to bring new customers into my business, whether that's writing a piece of content that might get linked to, whether that's a uh, going in and looking at my Google AdWords campaign or, you know, it's just doing one thing to bring new business in every day. Uh, another habit might be to, to, at the beginning of the day, say, okay, what's the one thing, the highest leverage thing I could do today that if I got that one thing done, I'd be really happy. And, and just doing, choosing that at the beginning of the day. And then at the end of the day, making sure that you got that done and tracking that on a calendar, that would be a habit that you could form. 